Hi everyone, this is Alexandra Duncan, the author of the YA science fiction novel Salvage and Sound for Writing in the Margins. And today I'm going to be geeking out about Nigerian American author Nnedi Okorafor. So, some of the cool things about Nnedi Okorafor one, she writes for many different age groups. Um, I first got introduced to her through her YA novel, The Shadow Speaker. I was working as a YA librarian at the time, and obviously I'm a YA author, so that was um, a very natural way for me to get introduced to her. Um, in addition to that, she also has the Akata Witch series and many, many other books for teens and tweens. She also writes for adults. Um, she has a short story collection called Kabu Kabu, and um, uh, the World Fantasy Award-winning Who Fears Death, as well as many others. And <laughs> I just heard that she is going to start writing for younger readers. She has a book called uh, Chicken in the Kitchen, which is a tongue twister for me for some reason. Chicken in the Kitchen coming out later this year. So that should be a cool thing to check out. Another awesome thing about Nnedi Korfor is that she is just a master of genre bending and world building, which are two things that I really love in fiction in general. Um, she isn't just a science fiction writer or just a fantasy writer. She combines these two genres in the same books, and she wraps them up with elements of magical realism and creates this, these truly believable worlds that are just this tapestry of magic and advanced technology and folklore. Um, and then the way that her characters both inhabit those worlds and also rebel against them are completely in keeping with the setting she's established. They are truly people of those worlds and reacting to those, their situation as people of those worlds, um, which is something that I just really appreciate in world building. Um, another cool thing about her is that she, um, her books take fantasy and science fiction, take these science fiction and fantasy traditions outside of the Western world. A lot of her stories take place in Nigeria, which is her parents' country of origin. So it's just refreshing not only to see a different setting, but a very different perspective on how the future might look. I think a lot of times um, the science fiction and fantasy books that we get are very set very much in, in a Western society or a Western analog society, or sometimes they're even very US-centric. So just very cool to get another perspective on that. She also uses science fiction and fantasy as a framework to explore contemporary issues that are both global and personal. Um, like in her young adult novel, she'll explore things like friendship or the death of a parent, um, which is both a very personal thing and a very universal thing. She also um, goes into issues like female genital, genital mutilation, the emergence of feminism in tradition-bound societies, slavery, genocide, and the other cool thing about her is that she writes these amazing, complex, powerful women. So cool! <laughs> Yay, Nnedi Korfor! Geeking out! <laughs> so she has written a ton of books, which you can read more about on her website. I recommend starting out with Who Fears Death? It's a very intense story about a girl named Anya Sanwu who was born out of rape, but she grows up to become this really powerful sorceress who may be able to put an end to her homeland's centuries of gen genocide and warfare and slavery. Like I mentioned before, it won the World Fantasy Award, and another reason it would be a really good one to start out with is that it's accessible for both adults and mature teen readers. So if you have any recommendations for read-alikes um, to Nnedi Korfor or just diverse science fiction and fantasy in general, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. Also, don't forget to check out uh, the other vlogs on this channel, Writing in the Margins. Thanks so much for listening.